What's up YouTube? Just did an upgrade to the Mario candy machine that I posted a few videos about and thought I'd do a little overview now that there's some upgrades on uh, basically how the thing works, how I put it together. And if you want to try and make your own, some things you can take cues from. Uh, <clears throat> the original idea for this was to have a way to dispense Halloween candy, candy without uh, having to be th at the house. Um, <clears throat> design requirements were basically that it could distribute candy as something easy for kids to use and uh, that I didn't have to babysit the thing. Uh, that it'd be self-enclosed so you couldn't just steal candy out of it. And this, this meets all those requirements. Went through several machine ideas and this, this one is what came out just from trial and error. Um, the first thing I did, well, let me say, this, this machine has really three parts. Two of them are inside the cabinet, which is the play area here, which consists of the drum, the horizontal conveyor, which catches the candy and moves it toward the prize chute, and this is the, the roadblock, which is the Mario here. You have to jump him at the right time to be able to uh, get the candy to fall out the prize chute which in turn falls out the out the cover which I'll show in a second also inside the cabinet the second major part <clears throat> is the, is the control center so this here is is very simple um, there is a bit of a, a nest of wires but it's really just two relays uh, they are full four pole dual throw and basically one is the run relay and the other is the jump relay uh, they're both activated either by micro switch or the switch on the cover you have the jump and the start switch, and that's how they're activated. And, <coughs> excuse me, they just activate the two things, either the run condition, which is the one in the rear, or the jump condition, which is the one in the front. The jump will only trigger when the run is, is going, so when the, when, the, when the game's on, you can jump. Uh, when the game's off, it won't allow you to jump. I have a little uh, audio amplifier here from an old set of computer speakers. And all that does is take a signal from this, this tiny little chip here. It's a little, it's maybe one inch by two inches. It's an Adafruit, I believe it's called a sound board or sound FX board, something like that. Um, that stores all the sounds for this machine on it. Other than that, there's really not much, much other logic that goes into it. There's no Arduino on this, no, no digital programming. Um, there's only two moving parts or two, uh, two powered parts, which is this motor here, which turns the drum via this chain set that goes around the drum from front to back. And <clears throat> this is the upgrade I just did. It's the jump mechanism. It used to be hydro uh, pneumatic, rather, and I upgraded it. I had this nice 240 to one gear motor. It's a 12 volt motor and down geared down to, to uh, it basically is a torque multiplier. It has enough torque with that little little tiny motor to lift lift Mario up and down just like the old pneumatic did on the old videos. Um, I will put this together. I'll put the cover on so you can see it power up and uh, give me one second. Okay, the cover is now back on. Uh, main features of the cover, it's got three, three uh, electrical items so it's got two push buttons, these are arcade style. Uh, both have backlights in them. So I can say, hey, you're coming up to the machine. This is an attract feature that this, this start light is flashing. And then when you press start, the game is running. It continues to run on its own. The jump light illuminates, and I'll show that in a moment. This here conceals the speaker for the uh, audio uh, effects that come out of here. And then there's just one output here for the prize shoot. I had to put this in as a safety feature as my children showed me that they can reach inside the machine with, when this wasn't here and try and grab Mario up there and they could get their little arms stuck or caught in the conveyor or something. So this is just a little safety mechanism that keeps them from reaching in. Um, I'm lucky to have access to uh, a printer big enough to create a cover for this but it could certainly be done in several sheets uh, and then taped together or something. Just to show how this plugs in to the machine pull it off here <clears throat> there's a single amp connector this is a nine pin amp connector it feeds power to the speaker from the amplifier down below the two um, micro switches which either start the game running 
or start the uh, the jump mechanism. And then the, the lights for that are on the sides of this. And I did also install, this, this is what provides lighting for the entire drum assembly, is a light bar right there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Very simply, um, it's, it's a very simple game. You just press a button to start. The drum starts rotating. This paw up here is what catches the candy and moves it around. Uh, it puts it, depending on your luck, it puts a certain amount, one to three candies on the horizontal conveyor, as you can see in the other videos. And that moves past, and as the candy's coming through, so it would drop the candy somewhere about here, it would come across, and you would want to jump. And that's the new, the new mechanism there. And that's it. So you just jump over the candy, and if you get it, you went through the chute. Um, this took a couple of months to build, but it was a lot of trial and error. I didn't know what I was doing for the candy feeding mechanism for a long time. Once I figured that out, uh, the whole machine basically was just built around it. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put it in the comments. Otherwise, good luck on building your own.